All right, children, 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 please be seated. I have a big announcement to make. Oh, boy. When Mrs. Orso has a big announcement to make, she always scrunches up her face, and you can count all the wrinkles on her forehead. Last time, I got up to seven. Here now, yes, yes. Now, tomorrow, we're going to have a very special visitor. His name is Mr. Hal. One, Mr. Hal is a two, university professor. Three, He's going four, to give you all a five, test. Six, it will begin first thing in the morning, and a I... test? What kind of test? I hope it's something really fun. Okay, everybody make a face. Yeah. <laughs> the winner! What is it, Bobby? Uh, nothing, Mrs. Orso. I was just thinking about the test tomorrow. No, you don't have a thing to worry about. It's just an experimental test. There are no right or wrong answers. Now that sounds like my kind of test. See you all tomorrow morning now, bright and early for the big test. Uh, what, what exactly is this dish you're uh, cooking up here, sis? Tuna cod catfish baked with squid chips, just like Mama used to make, don't you know? Hey, uh, uh, what do you say we try that new hamburger joint? Uh, my treat? Mom, Mom, guess what? We're gonna have a big test tomorrow! Yeah, oh, that's great, hon, yeah. I don't know about you, Bobbo, but I hate tests. Oh, ooh, especially the ones where they give you that little cup, and then you gotta go into the men's room, and you're in there half- Ted, Ted, put a sack in it. What'd I say? So, they're gonna give you a test, huh, shrimp? When I was about your age, they gave us a test on adding and subtracting. The kid that failed, they kept him after school. Forever. <laughs> kept him, kept him after school forever? Or, for, for adding and subtracting? You ate all the gee golly squid chips. What's a tuna cod catfish bake without the chips for flippers sake? Oh, that felt good. Sorry, sis. Oh, uh, what's that smell? My tuna cod catfish bake is all. It's ruined. Oh, Howard, hell! Dad, we're gonna have a test at school tomorrow. Dad, Dad? Oh, my life is I know it is over. Mom, Mom, I want to tell you about my test. Oh, come on, Martha. I hope this test is easier than trying to tell Mom and Dad about it. What's wrong, Bobby? I'm worried about taking the big test. What if I flunk it and they keep me after school? Forever. You can't flunk. There aren't any right or wrong answers, don't you remember? Class, class. Now, this is the university professor I told you about yesterday. Say hello to Mr. Hal. Hello, hello Mr. Mr. Hal. Well, how nice. I'm going to conduct a little experiment with you children today. Young man, would you like to help me demonstrate what some of the test questions will be like? Since there aren't any right or wrong answers, I'm going to answer that one with a no. That wasn't a test question. Oh. <laughs> well, stand up, Bobby dear. Let's be polite now. This is a test question. How many fingers do I have? Same as I have, right? Very inventive, young man. Let's try another one. I'm going to count. One, two, three. Now, can you do it backwards? Sure. One, two, three. What a very bright little boy. I am? All right, class. Settle down now. We're ready to begin the testing. Was 
wasn't that fun, class. I think each one of you did very well. Mrs. Orso, Mrs. Orso, quickly, you must see this. Gee, I wonder if they ran out of toilet paper in the boys' room. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Bobby, would you please come up here a moment? Am I in trouble? Bobby, the results of your test have come back. According to my calculations, you're not just a bright little boy. You're a genius. Me? A genies? I'm a genies? Welcome to the Million Dollar Genies Convention. Watch it. Look out. Hey, that genie's too young to be flying. Here you are, Bobby. I'm pinning this to you because I don't want you to lose it. It's a very special note for your parents. My parents? Mrs. Orso, come to me. All right. If you say so, Mr. Hal. Bobby, we're going to move your seat right up here to the front of the class. Swell. Every kid's dream to sit right next to the teacher. All right, class. Lunch time. Run along now. I had to take a test. Then Mrs. Orso writes some secret thing to my parents. And now she changes my seat. Am I in trouble again? Hi, I'm home. Figures, like I totally do not know what to wear to the costume party on Saturday. Why don't you just wash your face and go as a stranger? Hey, mush brain, what's in the envelope? I must have done something really bad today. Because I used to be a pupil, now I'm a genie's. Then Mrs. Orso moved my seat, and now I won't be able to see when Jamie Burke picks his nose anymore. Okay, so what's in the envelope? What's in the envelope? Welcome to What's in the Envelope! Okay, Bobby, take a guess. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Is, is it a fight? <laughs> Guess again, and you've got just 30 seconds. One, two, three. Uh, 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 a new car? A pet! The end! Strong? Wrong, you lose. Did you hear that, Bobby? Mrs. Orso wants your father and me to be at school bright and early tomorrow morning. I'm glad you could come, Mr. and Mrs. Jenerick. I'm sure you're eager to hear what Bobby has done. Well, sure, we'd be here. We're his parental units. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you all the stuff I did. I hid a lot of my old lunches under Kelly's bed. And I used Derek's socks for baseballs. And, and, and I was the one who shaped Mom's Mia pet plan. There. Those were all the things I did. That's what you're going to tell Mom and Dad, right? Oh, no, Bobby. The reason we called your parents down to the school this morning is because you did so well on your tests. Oh, I was only kidding about that other stuff. <laughs> How well did Bobby do on his test, Mr. Hale? According to this, he's a genius. With a mind like his, there's no telling how far he could go. Couldn't I just stay here? Well, Bobby, hon, what the nice man is saying is that you're gifted. I am? I'm gifted? A gifted son! What wonderful, wonderful news! I can't wait to tell all the guys out at work that our Bobby is a genius. What's a genius mean, Dad? It means you're special, Bobby. Really? Attention, J Mart shoppers. Today's red tag special is Bobby Jenrick. All yours for the low, low price of only eleven ninety-five. Oh, where is it? Show me. So, it was a pretty exciting morning, let me tell you now, then, yet. Yes, sirree. Finding out that Bobby is a genius was something special, all right. 
and I've got something real special for our real special Mamsie. You, you do? Is, is it another piece of that chocolate cake? He gets extra cake? No fair. And that's not all I've got for my little Mr. Genius Man. Our brand new toothbrush is all. We don't want our little genius getting cavities then yet. Neat. <laughs> Dad, that's some of genies. Can I stay up late tonight and watch TV? Huh? No way. Are you guys really gonna let the little dweeb stay up late just because he's supposed to be some kind of super brain? Well, I, I think watching a little extra TV might be a good idea, Bobby. I mean, there's a PBS special on tonight about the life cycle of the North American mole. <laughs> but, uh, of course, we can watch anything that you want. After all, son, you're special. I'm starting to like this. All right, class, here's another history question. What's the name of the place where the President of the United States lives? The White House. That's correct, Josh. Big deal. That was an easy one. Next question is in math. What comes after 10? Oh, 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 11, Mrs. Orso. Very good, Brittany. What a baby question. I knew the answer to that when I was two. <laughs> Let's see now. How about one from science? What is the planet we live on called? I knew this one even before she asked it. I'm a genie's, you know. Bobby, were you giving Jackie the answer just so she'd look as smart as you are? Huh? Yeah, yeah, right. That's what I was doing. Pay attention, class. I have a surprise announcement. Bobby has been chosen along with two other gifted children from our school to compete on the TV show Preschool Feud. Our Bobby's going to be on TV. I'm going to be on TV? On TV. On TV. I can't believe little old me. On Here we are, Bobby. This is where you'll be playing Preschool Feud in a few minutes. Are you ready? Yep. All right, Bobby. These are some of the other contestants, and this is where you'll wait until the game begins. Good luck. I won't need luck. I'm a genie's member. I must disagree. My research indicates that matter of this density will travel at exactly 1 16th the speed of light. What did she say? All right, players, uh, we got just a few moments here until the show starts. Follow me to the set. Uh, no thanks. I can find it myself. I'm a uh, genie's. Ah! You're going to do just fine, Bobby. I know. I'm gifted. I know. And now it's time to play Preschool Feud. Today it's the Carl Sagan Preschool playing against the Little Red Schoolhouse. And now, here's the host of Preschool Feud, Richard Lawson. Hello, America, and thank you, Glenn. Welcome to Preschool Feud, or as I like to call it, the Battle of the Baby Brains. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. And... Yuck! Yuck! Oh, 
All righty, let's begin now. Remember, we've polled 100 gifted preschool students for the correct answers to these questions. Yay! Our contestants will be playing for a new jungle gym for their school, and I want you all to remember that each correct answer gets five points. For each incorrect answer, the person giving the answer will be slimed. Okay, here goes. First question, who is the current Queen of England? Queen Elizabeth. Correct. Yay! All right, and question number two. In which state is the Great Salt Lake? Utah. Correct again. Come on, don't just stand there, Bobby. Do something. Next question. What is two plus 50? That's easy. Two plus 50 is an arithmetic question. Oh, sorry, wrong answer. Ah! Okay, okay. So even a sneeze can mess up. All right, next question. This one's a little more difficult. What is an isosceles triangle? A musical instrument that belongs to somebody named Isosceles. Ah! One more incorrect answer and your team loses the jungle gym, Bobby. Don't rub it in. Okay, next question. What is H2O? H2O is two letters and a number, right? <laughs> Good try, Bobby, but that's not it. Which means the little red schoolhouse doesn't get their new jungle gym. Oh, Bobby, I know you did your best. I just can't imagine what went wrong. Mrs. Orso! Oh, Mrs. Orso, there's a problem. This whole thing has been a computer error. Bobby isn't a genius after all. He's normal. I am? I'm normal? Oh, boy! I'm normal! Isn't that great? Oh, my now. Bobby, it's been quite a day. What did you learn from this whole mess? I have learned that just because somebody tells you that you're special, you still ought to be nice to everybody else. Row, row, row your boat. Because otherwise, nobody will like you when things go back to normal. And you'll really miss all your friends and... Okay, I got something to say! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was wrong. I let being special go to my head. I feel really, really, really bad. And I hope you'll all be my friends again, okay? I'm also really, really, really sorry that we didn't win the jungle gym. But, but look at the bright side. We did win a whole year's supply of wood sealer, right? The nice thing about kids your own age is that they forget stuff like this real fast. I thought that was a great show, didn't you, Howie? Mm. Why do you seem so down? My car has a flat tire and I was supposed to meet someone for lunch right after the show. Well, my parents are coming to pick me up. And I'm sure that they can give you a lift to wherever you have to go. And then whoever you're meeting at that place can give you a lift home. And then when you're at home, you can call a tow truck. That is great! Thanks so much, Bobby. You're a genius. I am not! Whoa. Aren't we a little touchy? <laughs> <laughs>